The Wilder Corpse Hunter's trusty hounds bravely plunge into some of the most Sigma-forsaken hellholes in existence. These dogs of war are gritty, reliable, and above all, just real good doggos. In this video, we'll show you some alternative ways to paint your hounds. A black and brown coat, a fluffy white coat, and a rich brown coat. The paints we'll be using are on the screen now. We also have a list of the additional equipment we've used, but you can use whatever brushes you feel most comfortable with. For our three schemes, we've used different colors to undercoat them with. These are Grace Sear and Chaos Black. This will help with the lighter and darker base coats that we'll be applying over them for their respective color schemes. For our first hand, we're gonna focus on the black and brown coat. Our first paint will be Abaddon Black and we'll be using a medium layer brush. We're going to layer over the entire dog. This will make tidying up really easy going forward as Abaddon Black has a different finish to Chaos Black from the spray can. We're now going to add some different colored fur patterning to our pooch. For this, we'll be using XV88 and painting over his four legs, across the chest, the lower area of the jaw, and above this handsome boy's eyes. Normally, we would say to do a second and third layer for good coverage. However, in this instance, it works with our paint being slightly less opaque as will help to blend the black and the brown and thus make it look more natural. And there we go, with that second fur coat color on, our hound is really starting to come together. Oh, what a good boy. We'll now be shading the XV88 areas with Reitland Flesh Shade. This will help to give it more depth and mute down the color a little bit. Try to avoid pooling, and if you see it, always remember that you can just soak up the excess with dry bristles. We're going to layer back over the brown fur with XV88 again. Instead, this time we're going to be stippling over the raised areas of it. Stippling is building up coverage with loads of little dots that help to give the illusion of texture. We're using the stippling method here because this illusion of texture will help to show off the fur. When doing it, don't be afraid to do little scratches into the black fur areas as this will help to break up any solid outlines between Abaddon Black and your base layer of XV88 and thus make it look like the two are blended together more naturally. And with that stage complete, we've really added a lot of character to this little lad. Okay, we're now going to highlight our brown fur areas with Baylor Brown. We're stippling again, but now only really focusing over the very raised and highest areas and also making sure that the stippling is smaller than our previous layer. This will sell the idea that these are the smaller hairs that have caught the light. Just make your way around the model doing this all over the areas and take your time. It's worth it to be slow and precise here in order to get the best result. And there we go. With that complete, all that's left to do is wash the black fur with non oil. We're purposely not painting the black fur anymore here, as it will help to draw the eye more to the brown fur details, as well as make the black fur look shiny and clean. And there we are. With that final step complete, our black and brown doggo is finished. We've also blocked in the collar with Mephiston Red in order to show off the fur. You can do it in whatever color matches the rest of your warband. All right, for our second dog, we're going to base over the gray sear undercoat with Celestra Gray. We're now going to layer with Ulfwan Grey over the raised areas. Our next step is to wash the entire white fur with Soul Blight Grey. Now to simulate fur, we're going to be stippling again using Ulfwan Grey, helping to add texture and give that shaggy fur appearance over the entire coat. Finally, we're using White Scar as a stippled highlight to all the features and most raised areas of the white fur. And there we go, our white shaggy doggo is complete. For the purposes of this video, we've blocked in the collar with Black Legion. Feel free to paint it in whatever color matches the rest of your warband. For our third good boy, we're going to give him a rich dark brown coat. And in order to achieve this, we're going to base him with Rhinox Hide. We're now going to layer over the raised areas with Doom Ball Brown, making sure to leave the previous step in the recesses. In order to tie the two steps together, we'll be washing over the entire fur with Agrax Earthshade. 
We're going to add some non-oil as a darker wash over his paws and in the recesses of his face. This will help to give a little bit more depth to the fur and break up the single color. For our highlight, we'll be stippling Tuscor fur over any edges and raised areas that we can find. And with that finished, our third very good boy is complete. All that's left for you to do is to paint the rest of the details. In this video, we've shown you how to paint three different types of doggo fur that each come with their own pawsome characteristics. We hope that you'll have as much fun as we did painting these schemes. For more tutorials, tips and tricks, you can head to your local Warhammer store where our amazing staff will be more than happy to help. Or you can go check out citadelcolor.com. Well, we hope you've enjoyed this video and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.